Hey everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my, as a lorry goes past, um, my perennial vellum sleeve box. Um, as it says, does what it says. Um, it is the beautiful perennial vellum um, that I've used to create um, a little sleeve here, as you can see, like a belly band. And then I just have this cute little um, treat box that you could fit a ton of little sweets, treats or a gift inside and then obviously you just have your belly band um, that sits over the top and it actually hides the um, opening as well so if it sits parallel with that you can't even see it and just look at this flower I mean isn't it just so pretty honestly I just I just think it's gorgeous so let's get ahead and make it so to start off with for your box then, you are going to need a piece of cardstock that is six and a half by 12 inches, which will be 17 by 13.5 centimetres. Then on the long side, we are going to score at three, four, eight, and nine inches, which will be eight, 10.5, 21, and 22.5 centimeters. We're then going to rotate. I've rotated mine clockwise, but it really won't make any difference. And then we're gonna score on the short side at three quarters of an inch. Crikey, this is a long score line. One and three quarters of an inch, four and three quarters, and five and three quarters so in centimeters that will be two four point five twelve point five and fifteen okay and then guess what we're gonna fold and burnish our score lines so all of those lovely score lines i'm just gonna fold and burnish those And this is balmy blue that I'm using. The previous one was mossy meadow. And then the so saffron is the same as the um, vellum. Okay, so we've now folded, scored, burnished, done everything we need to do. So now we need to do some cutting. So both these parts are equal, so it doesn't matter they are, everything is mirror image, so what you do one side, you will do the other. So we're going to start off with one end facing you. We're going to cut away both of these panels here. So both the long panels, so we're literally just going to leave a single square at the top. Okay, so we're going to cut that one away. Then we're going to cut the same on the other side. So straight down and across okay so now turn it round and do the same on the opposite side so remember as I said a mirror image what you do one side you'll do the other so we're going to cut those bits away and so that wasn't very tidy was it Sally do that again Goodness me. Right, so once we've cut those four corners away, you're left with this. So what we need to do now is with one of these squares facing you, you're going to now have the two smaller squares. So what we're going to do is cut vertically down the two score lines. We're going to cut away with a very slight wedge to this one. And then we're going to cut our wedges either side. I nearly cut my nail then as well. That would not have been amusing. I would have cried. Um, so you have this effect. Okay, so again, mirror image. So cutting down the two lines. And then cutting away slightly with a wedge to that side. And then cutting wedges from this one. Okay, so we now have this look and then we're going to turn around and do exactly the same 
the side so we're going to cut down and I'll do these a bit quicker now slight wedge on here and then wedges on either side with there and then the last one is down slight wedge wedge and wedge and so now we're left with this okay so all we need to do now is put adhesive on these four tabs and that is all can you believe that i know amazing um i'm going to use some wet glue no i'm not actually i'm going to use tear and tape because i am the tear and tape queen <laughs> honestly it's just so much easier so again like i said just get some on those tabs you can use wet glue if you want um, if you have the time, patience, etc. So, as I said, I'm just popping it on there. Okay. And then, just with my Take Your Pick tool, I'm going to take the backing off there. I'm just going to fold that over. And then this just tucks in and under there. Same again this side, backing off and then we just tuck it in and under. Okay so you can see now we already have that coming together. Same again on this one, so let's take this backing tape off. Took that end over because I got a bit excited and cut it a bit too long. And then the last one is this one and then we're just going to fold that one into place as well move those out of the way and then as you can see my shoulders that I call them fold in and then your top and bottom of your box and there it is that's your box made so now we need our lovely vellum sleeve or belly band and as you know, I've told you I think on every video, I never really measure these. So I'm just holding it in line with this piece of my cardstock. So I'm, as you can see, if you're not careful, this box just sort of twist out of shape slightly. Okay, so you'll get, and you see, look, you get the bottom or you'll get it that way and it doesn't sit straight. But if you do hold the sides together, it will sit properly then you get your strip of vellum I'm lining it up with the bottom of that piece of card and then I'm eyeballing it to be roughly in the centre and I'm then going to fold that over and pinch and that over and pinch and then you've already got your mark there make sure that your line, line sides line up and then you can reinforce that crease with your bone folder and it just for me this is just the easiest way of getting a band to fit snugly okay so that's now done and that will now sit very snugly on top of my box okay so it fits nicely and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the back. So I'm going to fold it over and give it a pinch. Fold it over and give it a pinch. And again, as you can see, it's already there. Folding it over, aligning the sides. That is the really important bit because when you do it, you can quite easily just do it like that and then it won't be straight. So again, finding that crease that I made lining it up with the sides and then just reinforcing it and then if you put this back on your box it will then sit and line it up with that bottom part there and without any effort it just lines straight up if you want to trim this down you can Mine, my vellum wrap is 10 inches by 2 inches, so it's 2 inches wide, 10 inches long, and that's 25 by 5 centimetres. And then 
I am literally just going to take this up if I can even get it. I'm just making a very, very small mark with my pencil and it is literally the tiniest of marks just that I can see. I mean, you won't even be able to see that. I don't even think if I put it up to the camera you'd see it. Or you can maybe just tiny, tiny little mark. Nobody else is going to see it, trust me. But I just want a snail. I'm going to turn it round actually so I don't go too... And then I'm just going to snail down in stripes to the end. Back on again. And then just one final, make sure that it's straight. And then there's your vellum. And then this will nicely just slide up and down your box perfectly. So to decorate it, I'm having kittens here because there's actually a spider just crawled across my desk and I hate spiders. Um, so I've got some mossy meadow and some scrap balmy blue here, although that actually, oh it does, they look different colour from here. Um, and then I'm using this lovely leaf one here and the beautiful picture off the floral, floral essence. So there's my um, C block and my D block, yes, for my flower and my leaf. So mossy meadow onto mossy meadow and I'm just going to stamp, well that's not very clever is it, let's try again, that's better. So there's my flower, sorry my leaf even, stamped and then I have my balmy blue and did I do? Oh, I did do all four. I was just checking on the original. <laughs> and then I've simply just stamped four of these gorgeous flowers on there. And then I have my leaf punch, surprisingly for my leaves, lining them up. There's one, and there's the other, and then my perennial flower punch. Notice that I've put them, sort of the two across the bottom because that is how my punch will do them so it saves me having to mess about with um, cutting the card to fit it into the punch and stuff like that. So I can just work my way along. Punching out my four flowers. They're just so pretty, these flowers, honestly. I think they're just gorgeous. And then back in with my snail, and I've simply put some snail in the centre of one flower and then layered my other one on top. And then I've done the same again with the other two pieces. And then again, piece in the centre there to now put these two together. And then I've literally just lifted some of these just to give it some dimension slightly. A beautiful perennial essence floral centre is going to go on my flower. And I just have take the backing off here. And then he just goes on the centre. And then the glue dots, I've actually stuck. Oh no, there we go. Oh, oh my god, a spare. Oh my goodness, look at that. As if by magic, my last two glue dots. Can't mess this up now, can I? <laughs> right, so. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Did use glue dots. In fact, no, I have got them to hand, haven't I? They're here in my drawer. 
my fresh box of glue dots out. There we go. And I'm just going to stick a couple of glue dots on the back of my flower and then yeah, come on off you get and then I'm just going to sort of stick one flower in place, uh, one leaf in place get that other one and then I'm going to sort of hover my flower I'm going to be contrary and go that way I think with this one and then my flower is going to sit just there and then and luckily get your bone folder if you slide it underneath you have enough room there and you can equal the pressure by pushing up on your bone folder and down with your finger and it will adhere that glue dot and there you have it my perennial vellum sleep box I hope you like them. I think I think I I don't know which one. I thought that was too dark and then I've done this one and I do really love this one with the, the balmy blue, but I, now they're together I don't know. I love them both. Which one do you think? Hope you enjoyed my project. Hope you get to fill it or give it to somebody and have a great day. See you again soon. Bye.